Hello again, it's time for the Ryder Cup. This weekend we're going to see more slow motion takes than any weekend all year. I hope that you can find time to watch some new things when you watch the pros. We only talk about hip rotation, body rotation, and if that's the only thing you see, that's the only thing you will practice. But I want you to see how good they are in bending the trail arm and extending that trail arm so you can find motivation to do it yourself. They all do it. I'm going to watch the best arms in golf this weekend, but most people just watch golf. This is really important. And today I will show you why it's important not to hold on, but to hit some golf shots. When I talk about bending and extending, there's something that every golfer on TV is doing, but you're not seeing it. That's the strange part. You only see rotation, rotation and hip rotation and shoulder rotation. I'm a little bit tired of that because the only thing I teach people every day is to use the trail arm to get speed and remove that silly, stupid slice that everyone has. I'm going to hit the first one. I'm going to use the trail arm backwards and I'm going to hold on. It's going to be a nice slice. This is a six iron. It will be a lot bigger if I hit my driver. Holding on is not a good recipe. Loading that arm like the pros do. You probably do too, but you're not using it in hitting the golf ball. That's what they are so good at. I'm going to hit the next one and use my arm. If I do it correctly, it's going to be a just small draw. The difference is huge. One, I just bend, hold on, like most people do. And the next one, I bend and extend. And I dare you to really look at the pros. They are so good in releasing that club. So this weekend, when you're watching Ryder Cup, Watch something new, learn something new, so you can stop slicing that ball and hit it much, much further. You don't need to be a super strong man or woman to hit it far, but you need to understand that speed doesn't live in your hips. It lives in your trail arm, throwing the club and extending through. That's what you need to learn. Ryder Cup this weekend could change your golf if you look at something new.